So you may have heard in the news recently about Threadripper Pro, also known as Workstation Epic. But does anybody have any chips on hand? Yes, I do. But today is not about that. Today's about a very special motherboard that a lot of people have been interested in, and I just happen to have my hands on it straight away. It's this. It is the Asus Pro WS WRX ATE Sage SE Wi-Fi. It's a bit of a mouthful, but we're going to go over the board. What's your minimum specification? So here is the motherboard. Expanded ATX. Got your standard Threadripper style socket, one dimmer channel, it's transposed, so the airflow comes from the back to the front. Uh, this thing has to cater for the 280 watts of Threadripper Pro. Um, the one thing that isn't easy to showcase on video is how heavy this damn thing is. I mean, I've handled expanded ATX motherboards with coolers installed and CPUs, and even the motherboard that came with the uh, Xeon W3175X in uh, the system that Intel sent over with that. Those motherboards are not as heavy as this. I mean, I've, I've popped the heat sinks off and the power delivery heat sink. There's like 16 phases on this thing, but the power delivery heat sink on its own is just shy of 300 grams, which is what, 0.6 of a pound. Yeah, this thing is, is heavy. This is heavier than a lot of laptops I own, even the big ones. It's insane, but well, that's mostly due to helping with the power. Um, on the back, you'll see it's also got this rigidity platform that we typically see on these larger motherboards these days. This is because uh, stuff's going to be screwed on quite tight and they want to make sure the motherboard has a certain amount of rigidity. Uh, standard 10 layer motherboard. Um, we'll go into some of the shots so you can see this a lot more clearly. Um, so it has seven full PCIe by 16 slots. All of these are PCIe 4 because the CPU supports 128 lanes of PCIe Gen 4. As mentioned, they've got one DIMM uh, per channel memory up to DDR4 3200. Uh, because this is you know ECC and JDEC standards, that'll be CL22, but don't let that put you off. Um, technically, these CPUs can support up to two terabytes, but that's in two DIMM per channel mode. So one DIMP channel is um, is one terabyte if you can afford those two hundred and fifty six gig, um, one twenty eight gig uh, LR DIMMs. You know this is why you know Workstation Epic is perhaps a better fit for this sort of CPU. Um, on the rear panel, we've got plenty of USB three point two Gen two and Gen one support. Uh, two dual two, ten gig Ethernet uh, due to an Intel X five fifty eighty two controller. Three onboard M.2, dual U.2, uh, U um, because that's still relevant in the workstation space. I still have a number of U.2 drives that I wish I could put to better use. And this motherboard is just insane. Unfortunately, the motherboard was lent to me uh, by an OEM in the UK, so I can't actually put in the CPU to test. Uh, I've actually got the Lenovo P620 workstation system to test. And uh, that already done some benchmarks on that, and we've uh, got to do some recording and some photo taking for that. But this is the Asus Pro WRX, WS, WRX, ATE, Sage, SE, Wi-Fi. It's a stupid name, and it's a stupidly interesting motherboard. Uh, no idea when it's coming to shelves. No idea what the cost is going to be. This thing is probably going to be at least a thousand if not fifteen seventeen hundred which when you're probably going to be spending north of five grand on this top end cpu anyway um you know for the people who need it that's what it's there for now as for the people who need it well amd for this market is catering to the um to the rendering farms to the animators who are already invested in threadripper they've probably already got first gen threadrippers um and this just puts more you know, error correcting memory into that system, gives all the PCIe 4x16 that they need uh, for expansion, for RAID, uh, for accelerator cards. That's what it's there for. You know, it's, I can't wait for my actual sample to come through from ASUS. Uh, we know that there are three motherboards coming to market. Uh, that's the, uh, a, this, this ASUS one, there's one from Supermicro and there's one from Gigabyte. And uh, we've already got requests for all three to come in for testing at Anantech. Uh, so looking forward to getting my hands on there. And then we just need to hopefully see if AMD can come through with CPU sampling. Um, this CPU that I have already, uh, it's Lenovo's actually, so uh, that has to go back fairly soon. 
What do you think? Is Threadripper Pro the system for you? How does this motherboard fare? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You, you know, old hat by now, but really does help the channel. Um, and a big thanks to the Patreons as well. So you're going to get this. Is this your minimum specification?